is a sauna box. Is it worth it? Should you buy one? What are the pros and cons? I've had this thing for like a month. Well, I'm gonna let you know. First of all, this thing is not sponsored. There is an affiliate link below that supports the channel, but not sponsored at all, honest feedback. So problem number one is I have this thing outside as you can hear the birds, holy crap. But the wind did blow this over and therefore it cracked a few of like the L joint thingamajigs. Uh, they did send me some replacements, which is pretty cool of them, uh, but that was completely my fault. I have since put cinder blocks underneath here. But if you do have your sauna box like in a garage or inside like it's supposed to be, that probably wouldn't have happened, but that's been one of the main things. The other, um, problem that I did have is that when I was setting this thing up, it was so incredibly tight that I did end up ripping um, part of the bottom. Probably could have asked them something about that or something about a complaint, but since I'm having it outside, I don't really care. Um, but there is this like little tear in the bottom because it's really, really tight. It has gotten looser um, after using it like a bunch of times, but it was really tight at the beginning. Now I had a couple questions before I got this that I'm sure you guys are having too. So let's just jump into a few of them. First of all, is this thing durable? I thought it would just be like a piece of garbage because it's so cheap and I saw so many ads for it that I figured it wouldn't be good. This right here has been outdoors for like over a month and it's still in pretty good condition. The piping is made of like fiberglass or something like that. It's not like gonna snap. It feels really sturdy. I think it's gonna last for a really long time. We'll do like a six month update or something, but it's actually like pretty solid for what it is. I've seen zero wear and tear besides when it fell over. <laughs> it, it did rub on stuff and I had cinder blocks up against it. So that rubbed on stuff. But again, that was completely my fault. It should be somewhere indoors. The second concern I had was, does this thing actually get that hot? You're just boiling water and pretty much piping it in there. So how hot can it possibly we get it says it gets up to 130 that's not as hot as like other saunas are um, I know I have a sweat tent that gets up to like uh, 170 200 degrees which is like absolutely crazy melts your face off but that's like an outdoor wood stove thing this is like a, a really quick simple boiling water thing so how hot does that actually feel do you feel anything afterwards this is not the same type of heat right I can't tell how much I'm sweating from the the, the, the moisture that's in there and how much I'm sweating <laughs> from just sweating because it's hot at 110 120 which is what it's probably actually at it doesn't feel incredibly hot like it's a comfortable relaxing calm experience more than like an intense aggressive experience um, which is actually really good I noticed it's like super good for like just chilling out like almost like meditating in but even with it being outside right now in like 20 30 40 degree weather if I just let this run for about half an hour first and then I kind of like return it on and hop in there I can totally be sweating in like half an hour. I am just drenched, absolutely. So it totally works for what it's supposed to work for. So as far as a sauna goes, it's much better than uh, I kind of expected it to be in that way, um, where I really wasn't sure how good it could possibly be. It actually works. Another thing I was worried about is like, is this gonna start to smell? Is it gonna be gross in there? Uh, no, not really, actually. It's been only like a month so far, but um, no. And that's for a few reasons. One, it like beads up on the inside. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but all the water doesn't like absorb into this stuff. It beads up on this stuff and then it goes down. And then the floor mat, you can take out, you can rinse out, you can wipe stuff down. Um, it's not really that bad. This also unzips like all the way around. You can just open this thing to the outside and just let it air out or in your house or whatever. Uh, and it'll be totally dry probably by the next time that you use it. If you need to take the floor mat out to dry that out separately, you totally can, but it's pretty easy to keep clean so far. At least for me, it has been with like basic things like wiping it down a little bit, just letting it air out, all that kind of stuff. It's not actually all that bad. I also saw zero signs of like mildew or anything like that. All right, so let's talk mechanics on this real quick. It comes in a box. So you pretty much have to set up the entire frame. Then you go ahead and you put it into its casing, which is is where I had some troubles. It was pretty hard uh, to get it in there. Overall though, I was able to set up the entire thing in like an hour, so it wasn't terribly hard. <laughs> to heat this, you use like a pressure cooker pretty much. You put water in there, it blows steam into the inside. I generally let it run for 15 to 30 minutes to really get to uh, the top temperature possible. Again, it's outside, so it takes me a little bit longer to get to those higher temperatures. But that being said, when you get in and it is incredibly steamy in there, it's a really, really calming experience. I've noticed that I've slept a little bit better. Uh, I just feel like more relaxed generally. Like if my you know, shoulders are pretty tight, I'll feel a lot better after I get out of the sauna. And that's just coming in from steam. I recently just like took the cap off of it and I feel like it even gets hotter that way. Pretty hard to film in there when it's steamy but it's a nice experience. It's pretty solid. It's an easy setup. Same thing with the cold plunge. You just throw a couple of rods in. That one took literally under five minutes to put together. Then if you wanted to move it, you could unpack it, put it all back in a bag, 
Um, I'm probably not gonna do that, so I threw the bag out, but it's a pretty simple setup. Let's talk about the price. It's about 350 bucks for this thing. I also got this bad boy with it, which is like a cold plunge, which I'm gonna talk about in a sec. For the price, I would say this like absolutely makes sense. This is a really solid starter sauna. It's not gonna be the same levels as $5,000 saunas or even like the sweat tent, like a $1,500 sauna. But for a starter, for inside, for quick turn on, that's cheap, it's easy to maintain. This is like an absolutely very solid sauna. I've been really enjoying it. I've used it a bunch of times. I love it. Real quick, while we are talking about it, I did get this uh, cold plunge along with it. Again, it's been freezing and icy out here, so I haven't actually had to cool it at all because it's been really cold. So I don't know what that's gonna be like in summer when you have to put ice in it or use a chiller. But for me, it's been great. It's been really solid, easy to sit in. It's nothing extraordinary like maybe some more expensive ice tubs are. But for a starter one, again, this is like the perfect starter setup, I think, for anybody. Something I should note, they also do have a two-year warranty. So that is a little bit of peace of mind that if anything does go wrong or break or you're worried about anything, you know, they'll hook you up for a couple of years. So you can have a lot of little bit of peace of mind for something that, again, is, is $350. Bucks. It's not $1,000 or $5,000. It's relatively uh, a cheaper setup. That actually does what it's supposed to do. If you are thinking of getting one of these, there's a link down below with 10% off. You can use the code GateBolt. It is an affiliate link, really helps support the channel. I'd love to do more videos like this. For me, it's been super worth it. I've been enjoying it.